what's going on youtube man welcome back to another video now before we jump into today's video man you should have know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe we trying to save the world we trying to save as many people as we can so make sure you hit that post notification bell So you don't get that post nut clarity, my guys. So listen, man, as y'all can see by the title, we have something, you know, something kind of sad today. And I, this is not normally how I make my reaction videos, but I felt kind of led to bring this one to y'all. And, you know, we basically talking about the death of PNB Rock and it says Boosie speaks after death of PNB Rock and the reason why I felt led to bring this video to y'all is because I want to show you guys that you know and this is something that I always say in all my videos that we live in a very spiritual world and if you don't believe that we live in a very spiritual world go to Ephesians chapter 6 verses 12 that will give you all the answers to what we wrestle against in this world what we deal with in this world you know and that is something a lot of people fail to understand this is why i always take real life events and i put my spiritual touches on it because things like this is very spiritual it's a spiritual reason why pnb rock has now lost his life you know and i want to give a i want to send my you know my blessings to his family because they might be going through it who knows you know what i'm saying they they probably sad crying right now mourning after because this was a dad this was a son you know this was probably a boyfriend you know what i'm saying so you know i want to give my condolences to his part of his family but you know i want to call this thing for what it really is on a spiritual level because we have to dissect this we have to so Boosie tweeted, so he said, every time you and LA keep your guns and your finger on the trigger. Now, I want to talk about that, right? So the word tells us that there is no peace for the wicked. This is why a lot of these celebrities, they have to go around, they have to drive around, constantly watching their back. They got to go around constantly with a weapon. They feel like they have to have these things on them because they are not, they don't not, they do not have God in their life. They are not protected by the Holy Spirit. So this is why they have to have their guns by their side. This is why they have to constantly be watching after their backs. You get what I'm saying? So we live in a world where, you know, these celebrities, they know the life that they chose. You know, all this money, all this fame, you know, it comes with a lot. It comes with a lot. You know, you basically being viewed by the public eye as a lick, basically. You know, you're you're walking. You can't even go back to your old neighborhood because you're afraid that people might pull a gun on you. People, you're afraid that people might rob you. You know, so he said every time you in L.A., keep your guns and your finger on the trigger. Be ready to shoot at all times. Keep your hand on your Glock, no safety. And I probably shouldn't even have said that word. <laughs> but if they if they copyright this video, it is what it is. I, I'm gonna get my message out regardless. So he said, soon as you see harm or anyone suspicious, they will rob and you, it's the rap capital. So I wanted to relate this back to the word of God, because that, that is what we do on this channel, you know? So I'm on the open Bible and we typed in wealth, right? So I want to read some verses for y'all that kind of correlates to this whole death and everything that Boosie just said. So he said, well, I'm gonna look for a verse. Um, 
So I'm going to read this one. Everybody should know this one. Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. You, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these celebrities, they have forsaken God and they have put money on a pedestal, basically idolizing money. Um, What else can I read? Oh, yeah, this one, Matthew chapter six, verses 19 through 21. Do not lay up your do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. All right, so don't lay up your treasures on this earth because everything is perishing. This earth is perishing. <clears throat> you know, it's better to lay up for yourself treasures in heaven like this verse says. You know, so looking back on his death you know he he gained a whole bunch of material possessions the cars the houses the chains the women's he he basically built up a treasure on earth now he's gone so now where where is all of this stuff it is all vanity things now it is all vanity nothing that he did now means anything all the treasures that he laid on this earth means nothing anymore because he is now gone I forgot uh oh yeah here you go a good man leaves an inherit in a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous you know just let that sink in and now i'm gonna type in now i'm gonna type in um what was i gonna type in oh yeah also you know this this famous one right here uh, oh yeah, Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death But the free gift of God is eternal life Jesus Christ our Lord Right, so who knows what was going on in PNB Rock's life, you know But I know for sure It wasn't pretty You know, it wasn't what we would expect a celebrity to be living and for the wages of sin is death you know and this is not me trying to you know say he had it coming but you know you gotta call a spade a spade you have to but i hope y'all can see the correlation to what he was saying you know these celebrities they done exalted themselves on this earth you know some of them a lot of them mostly sold out just for the chains the the lavish lifestyles a lot of them had it coming you know a lot of these people they sell out and do certain things for these positions you know so you can't really feel bad for certain people when when they perish because you know like the scripture says the wages of sin is death you know, and we're all going to die. We're all mere humans. We're all going to die one day. You know, we're all going to die one day. That's what that's what it means to be to be sinners. You know, the wages of sin is death, literally. So we're all we can't escape death. So I wanted to bring this video to you, all man, because and just to give you all a spiritual sense of what really took place. You know, and I forgot what what other thing I was going to type in. I literally had it and I wanted to, to talk about it. Oh, yeah. So I finally came to it. So I typed in wicked. Right. So. Psalms 141. Verses 10 says, let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by safely. So this is what I'm trying to say. Like Boosie was saying, you don't, when you have God, brothers and sisters, when you have God, you don't need a gun by your side. You don't have to worry about these things because you have God. God says he's never going to forsake us. He's never going to allow all of these wicked things to happen to his children. 
that follows him. You know, and you can clearly see that PNB Rock didn't have God in his life. You can clearly see. Right? And read Ezekiel 18 verses 23. Have I any have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked? declares the Lord God, and not rather that he should turn from his way and live. You know, it's a lot of verses. And this one as well, Hebrews 10, 26. For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. And we, we got to wonder too, like, where where do you guys think PNB Rock's soul is right now? Do y'all think he's, you know, burning in hell or or is he in heaven? You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexual immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality. So... Let me read. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So I just wanted to read some of these verses to y'all to kind of correlate, correlate it back to, you know, what, what Boosie tweeted. But the main verse is there is no peace for the wicked. There is no peace for the wicked. And this is why they feel like they have to go around with guns. This is why they they constantly have to look behind their backs because they are not living a righteous life. They put money above God. You know, they 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 have to exalt themselves. So it's 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 only right that people view you as a walking lick. It's it, and it's and it's bound to happen. This is why a lot of celebrities are paranoid. They can't even walk to certain places by themselves. Because it's no peace for the wicked. And that is just how it is. That is just how it is. But listen, man, if you guys enjoyed this short little video, man, comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Drop a like. Share this video with a friend because they will need it, man. Look, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm out.